Gentlemen, welcome to show number two for 2024 <laughs> of the Queensland Premier League Bowl Show. I'm the host, Jojo. Wish your boyfriend was hot like me. And, of course, our co-host, Sean Baker. Hey, yeah, mate. Good, mate. How are you? Very, very good. I'm sure you yeah. are. <laughs> it's going to be a good night. I've got a feeling it's going to be a good night um, tonight. It's, yeah, a very enjoyable weekend. I'm feeling it will be too. should be good. Yeah. We had a, it was a good weekend of bowls. We had record um, numbers on the stream, so... Um, Especially for the show as well, so uh, we'll, we'll yes. pass we'll pass that up over lately. Whoa! <laughs> and um, we, our special guest tonight, of course, is um, none other than the greatest Reggie of all time. Special is Groat. <laughs> How are you, Groat? Good, mate. Good to have you back on the show, mate. Thank you, mate. It's always a pleasure to be here with you two boys. Mate, yeah. you had a good weekend on the weekend too. Oh well, we uh, yeah we snuck home, got out got out of jail, so uh, <laughs> yeah, always good when you can take those ones. And um, mate. To all the viewers watching, like, go through, just quickly go through what the growth actually means. Like, why do we have the growth? What's, <laughs> what's the standard that well, we need to be at to reach the growth level? It's not not such a standard as what it is a criteria. Uh-huh, if you uh-huh. can meet the criteria, you can be the growth. <laughs> you have to have played, uh, never played in the top grade of Queensland Premier League, but you must have played New South Wales Premier League at the top grade. <laughs> you must have played every position in the uh, Reggies. You must have played at more than one club. You must be six foot four, four tall, and a size fifteen <laughs> shoe. If you can, if you can do that, you're the greatest Reggie. That's a, that's some big shoes yep. to fill, mate. Yeah, and I've actually had, and I've had people come and challenge me to say, mate, I've been playing longer than you. I'm a better player than you. Okay, just read the criteria. <laughs> it's pretty simple, and, really, isn't and, it? It's, and they're serious. Yeah. They, they, they actually, yeah, it's it's not about it's not about bowls. Um, I'm, well, I'm I'm stoked that um, you know Craig let um, spoke to you and let let you come on the show tonight because uh, you, know, mm. you guys are inseparable most. <laughs> yeah, of the time, you so. passed on the message. Yeah, I was um, yeah, it's good. I was up with Mrs. Grote uh, <laughs> at Bramble Bay, and um, Craig happened to be out with his wife. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's like Bruce Wayne and Batman. You never really see Craig and Grote yeah. at the same time, do you? Correct. So. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just quickly, I bought you guys both a present tonight. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, now, I figured, being the guys you are, and Valentine's on next week, if you mm. get stuck and you haven't organised something for your lovely ladies... I have not. ..you, you can take these home and uh, you can gift them to them. If you're all sorted <laughs> and you're feeling sort of in touch with your own uh, sexuality, <laughs> you, can, you can wear the pink hat as well. I don't mind the pink, Thank you mate. very much. I well, appreciate that. that. Yeah, real men wear pink. Should be good. Should <laughs> be good. Yep, yeah. Uh, well, mate, it's good to have you on the show, so um, chime in whenever you like. And, um, Thank you. Um, it, should be a good, it should be a good one. Our sponsors, of course, uh, are Smith & Co Realty. Shannon and his team here at Paradise Point do a fantastic job with all your realty needs. And um, he's just a fantastic bloke and uh, love having him as a sponsor, yep. Smith & Co Realty. So... Uh, thanks for your all your support this year again, Shannon. Yeah, we'll have to um, get him back soon. Get him, get him on again. Yeah, he'll, I'm sure he'll be on the show. Yeah, it's always good to have a chat too. Yeah, he's a very and, interesting guy. And of course, um, Paradise Point Bowls Club, the Dolphin Cove. This is where we run the show out of. Uh, awesome facility here with their undercover green. There's a lot of bowls going on tonight, and they've got two nice outdoors out there. Actually, the mighty power here this weekend. And um, if you get a chance to get down here, I know they've got our twelve dollar lunches. Um, the lovely GM here, Kat, she's uh, always looks after us, and uh, they've got twelve dollar lunches every day here. So get down to Paradise Point. Twelve bucks is pretty fair for a nice Solid. steak. Can't mate. go wrong on Saturday. Can't steak, go wrong. Steak for twelve bucks. I had a surf and turf here tonight before I started the show, and uh, top notch, mate. Yep. Top notch. It's going to be interesting this weekend. Our first weekend of the double headers with the two games in the one day. So yeah, hopefully yeah. It all goes well and. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, going, to be, it's going to be good. A new concept for the Premier League to yeah. have a, a, a club hosting a doubleheader, uh, or four clubs, sorry, four clubs hosting yeah, a doubleheader. Well, yeah, so yeah, four, well, no, three, 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 three venues, four clubs at each venue, and uh, like we're in a situation where we play at El Jester, but we don't actually play El Jester, so it's, uh, it's, it's different, certainly from what we've ever we've experienced in Premier League before, but I think it's going to go well. I think most I of the like players it. are looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, I think all, I think it's, it's all positive from the players. It's yep. non-players have had a few issues with it, but... <laughs> it's, not, it's not a game yeah, without well, issues. Just, well, you've got like, you know, four, like, close to 100 players at one venue for, exactly right. and for, then, yeah, for the, the day. There, there was a couple of clubs that mentioned about the um, 
you know, the less home games, because in, in, in previous years you either had six home games or five, depending on how your draw was for the year. Uh, and this time, some people only get into the one or three. Or, um, but I think if you run your day well, you should be able to make just as much money off having 112 players here for a full day as opposed to, you know, the, you, you're visiting 56 players coming for mm. the one, or the, so the, yeah, the, yeah, the 56 players for the one night. Like, cause generally in tradition, I've been involved in clubs for a long time, you had that five o'clock game, for instance, people were generally there at four o'clock and with the old rules, they could roll up for an hour, no one really go inside the club, spend the money, yeah. play the pokies or that sort of thing. but. With your hour break and, and whatnot, and shit, yeah, people should be spending cash and having, enjoying the club's facilities, and hopefully they're doing just as well out of it with their LS games. Yep, save the criticism until the end, eh? Yeah, yeah like, it's, yes. uh, I think I think it'll be great. Obviously, um, did Craig tell you to say that, mate? Being the treasurer of the Premier League now, he's, he's <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> one in here, one in here. <laughs> Um, yeah, make sure you. Um, obviously, we're live streaming across a few pages um, for the show, mm. so. Um, Keep your comments coming. If you've got any questions for the GOAT or myself or Sean or about the Premier League, roll them through. We'll answer them the best we can. Like um, and share. Blake uh, Balaki from uh, WA who plays here at the at the Cove uh, for the Dolphins. His steak was awesome last week. And uh, <laughs> Carla Pizzi, who is uh, one yeah. of the North Queensland yeah, um, players. She says, hi, Sean. And Joshua. Nothing, nothing for the dojo, Carla, I see. That's awesome. <laughs> Joshua Beatty. Uh, good mate, Joshua. Yeah, he says, good day. Yeah, he was there on the weekend at the Powerhouse. Yeah. 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 And uh, our Premier League sponsors, uh, obviously, uh, for the Premier League is uh, Lawn Bowls to You, mm. uh, Jason Curry. I think um, he might have actually feature later on the show tonight um, with the Groat. So Lawn Bowls to You do a fantastic job. Get all your Lawn Bowls to You needs. So if anything, Lawn Bowls, bowls, clothing, hats, shoes, um, get them through Lawn Bowls to You because uh, they uh, are very quick on their turnarounds and they'll get it to you as quickly as they can and just a great supporter of the Premier League. Yeah, they love the game and they're, they're good at what they do and... I'll certainly look after you. And of course, hosting the Premier League finals again this year is Club Musgrave. So, uh, the, Pel the Pelicans, um, beautiful venue over there as well. So, looking forward to another fantastic final season over at Club Muzzy. Uh, yeah, obviously, our show coverage brought to you tonight by uh, the Gold Coast District live streaming. Um, Robbie, producer John Blackburn, aka Robbie Allen, is um, <laughs> does, always does a great job on the bowl show. And um, we thank him for his, his support. How are you going over there, Rob? Good, mate? Yeah, pretty good. Thanks, guys. Good. Yeah, good to see you all uh, bright and shiny up there. Yeah, well, yeah. So I had the makeup done before the we started. Forehead shiny again, you know. is it? Oh, it's, it's, it's not too makeup bad. I, I yeah, there's a makeup girl. I can get a little bit of uh, yeah. paint on it. <laughs> I missed that one. <laughs> um, mate, results from last week. Yes. Big one. Let's get into it. Yeah, first round. Results. Finally underway. Here we go. Uh, so first up, we had uh, Paradise Point 49 overall, defeated by Tweed Heads 59. Uh, so Blake Nunn had a uh, bit of a rough start off to his Queensland Premier League campaign. Nine shots down to Gary Kelly's 19. Uh, Desi Can started his Paradise Point endeavour well with a good 25-12 uh, to 12 shot over win, win over Adam McEwen. And uh, Kobe Barton 15 going down to the ever-steady Peter Taylor 28. So... Tweet with a good win there, but lots of positives for Paradise Point out of that one. Yeah, that game was actually really, really close um, up until I think uh, I, th I noticed some scores on that Blake Nine Gary Kelly game, and after 15 ends, I think there was only 12 shots scored. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, I'm pretty sure there was something like that. Robbie, was that about right? That that yeah, that was. It was pretty even uh, about. Uh, 10 or 11 ends, it was only one shot each end, you know, 11 shots over 11 ends, sort of thing. I was, and then just took off. I was talking to Wilson just before from uh, Paradise, and he said that Gary sort of just went into his own around the 8th or ninth end and just sort of just started burning up as Gary Kelly does on the carpet. So, uh, uh, tough, uh, class. tough initiation for uh, Balaki there coming over here. So, um, yeah, Gary's just, uh, Blake's just uh, commented saying that Gary is on fire. Uh, don't hear your excuses, mate. I just want to hear good shots from you, <laughs> Blakey, all right? Um, I'll catch up with you on the weekend, legend. And, uh, yeah, so good win there for Tweed, getting off, yep. the, getting their campaign off to a great start. Obviously missing uh, a couple of big guys in... Uh, uh, missing Corey Corey, Wedlock. Missing Corey. So, and, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, just just Corey. And maybe I Chloe. Think. And Chloe's uh, too. Chloe's. Oh yes, and Chloe. Yeah, yeah Chloe's. In, she's playing for Gary actually. For next, we'll get into those teams for next round, but yeah. So they're uh, only getting stronger now. Tweed as well. So good start for them. Alrighty, um, the next match. Wedgie says that just letting you know that it is not the planetarium, but the Soul Energy Greens. Soul Energy. No, nah, I prefer the planetarium. Sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, soul in it, solar or soul. Soul, soul energy. Soul energy. Oh, the Reggie. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Sorry, my bad. All right. Beautiful. So yeah, back to uh, yeah Paradise Point and Tweed Heads in the reserve grade. Uh, Paradise Point fifty eight uh, down to Tweed Heads eighty two overall. So uh, yeah, it's a good day for Tweed overall coming here. Big yeah, big win, win. Big, big win wins. for them in both grades. Don't know, I know Turles will certainly be happy with that start. Keep rolling, mate. You're doing fantastic. <laughs> well old machine, isn't it? <laughs> All right, yeah, Nick. <laughs> fine tune, mate. We are fine tuned this. <laughs> I've been doing it for like seven years now. We're all over it. <laughs> uh, the next up, we had Algesta. A uh, rough start for them. 47 going down to Burley Head, 74. Uh, Colin Lipton, 12 shots, still didn't end up with third. That's probably why they went down. Yeah, that's, tough. <laughs> that's a tough gig, three in the side. Yeah. Uh, he went down to David Ferguson, 26. So uh, good start for Fergo, me and the old Saints mate. He uh, started off his campaign well. Uh, Glenn Pitts, 20, was their winner over Dale McWinney, 15. And then Nick Gosley, 15 shots, went down to Matthew Peterson, 33. So good start for Burley. Um, Rough start for Al Jester, but again, probably a few positives there for him. And what a good side, Burley. Like, they do. Mm, They're very good side. Very, very solid. Got a good good combination there. I think they um, Matty Peterson out now and uh, Benny Twist back in. So uh, yeah, I think from what I understand, Matty Peterson's playing the games that Twisty can't. Yeah. So yeah. It's, hey. But uh, yeah, no, they're looking, looking very good, Burley early. Just a quick comment, uh, Roger Jury says, doing a good job, lads, and uh, Robbie Allen, 10 out of 10. And Bushy says, loving the pink groat. I thought you were married, Bushy, but that's cool, mate. Yeah, cool, good. Thanks, Bushy. One with your name on it somewhere. <laughs> on our, our reserve grade for that match as well, we had Al just a 67 going down to Burley as well, 87. So good, uh, good down the road for Burley. Travelling to Elgester. Yeah, uh, Tyler just said um, Timmy Smith was uh, Cohen's third. Ah, okay. Yep. Yep. One of the Bundy boys. Beautiful. All right, moving up next, we had uh, Pine Rivers Pirates taking on Inaugura Eagles. So Pine Rivers 56. And he just pipped the Inaugura Eagles 50. Uh, we had Robbie Wilde, he was first game back to Queensland Premier League. 16 down over Seamus Curtin, 17. Uh, Ryan Burnett, 22 shots with a good win over Ryan Digby, 16. And Chris Roseanne's 18 shots just pipped old Brendan Egan, 17 shots. So that's a good game. It's pretty tight. Mm -hmm. Very it? tight. Not much in that, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, would have been a ex pretty exciting finish. I don't know if Inaugural would in just happen to score a lot of sh shots late just to make the score more respectful. I don't, think, not, I don't I, think that was I, the I case. I heard it was pretty yeah. tight. Yeah. 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 So, no, they're going to shock a few sides this year. Yeah, the they, they've got a pretty good side there. Yeah, they were, from how we looked at July last year when nominations were starting to be taken to where they are now, they've done a great job. They've, mm. uh, they've got a good side, mm. so they're going to they're going to win some games this year. And in their reserve grade, uh, Pine Rivers 74 went down to Inogra 82. So it's a, uh, it's a good game, good start. Mm. Battle of the Carpets. Yes. Yeah. Always had a good Reggie side, Nogra. Yeah, they're always hard to beat, aren't they? Oh, gross. Alrighty, now. <laughs> I, I can't read that properly. Uh, Dean, you want to read this one? I get you, I get you. So Hamilton, uh, 55, went down to Musgrave Hill, 66. Uh, Shannon Giddo's 19 shots, just pipped by Sean Baker, 20 shots. John Newell, Newell 17 shots. <laughs> Neville. <laughs> going, going down to Peter Brown, 27 shots. And uh, Nathan Wise having a 9 all draw with Mr. Stephen Tong. So, mm. It was an interesting night. Um, 
bit of up and down, and I don't think our score really reflects the game overall. We just sort of ran away with it just in the last half dozen ends or so. But um, yeah, it was a good start, mate. It was a good game. and Yeah, you guys jumped out of the blocks pretty quick on two rinks. Yeah, we jumped off to a good start. Yeah, I think we were 9 nil, and you were, you were 9 up on your rink, and we were 9 down on our rink, and Wisey was 9 up on his rink. Yeah. That was um, before I proceeded to drop like a four or three yeah. and a five. <laughs> we got back in our game. We were, I think our rink was 15-11 too. And, um, we, had a, we had a good battle on our rink. Yeah, look, yeah, Dino, I'll tell, I tell you what, uh, Dino um, Drummond's played exceptionally well a lead for yeah. uh, the Pelicans He's on, on our rink. Very, played very well, uh, the young Kiwi lad. And, um, and uh, Brownie, yeah, played, uh, got a few wicks here and there to get the results. So, uh, <laughs> no, nah, nah, he played good. Though. Yeah, fire him up for this weekend, you beauty. The whole rink played really good. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, it was close. Like, it was 10 shots on the board, I think it was. But uh, yeah, I think Wisey was holding a six on the last end against Tongi. Yeah, I heard that one. Sort of run, yeah. ran up through the head and got a result. So, last um, ball. Last oh, ball. What, a, what a shot. Yeah, yeah what a shot. Yeah. What a shot. So, yeah. And she was pretty tight in the reserve grade too, man. Your guys just came mm. home. Uh, Hamilton 77 over the Musgrave Hill Pelicans 76. So yeah, well, that game was overall. never in doubt. So, you know. <laughs> well, that, that was even a, after this, the that was a seesaw scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got them one there. Uh, now no, that was a, that was a seesawing game. Um, we were we were behind early on, and and then we got out to to a little bit of a lead at the back end, and then uh, Muzzy scored across all the rinks on the last few ends um, to, to tighten it yeah. up and yeah unfortunately there was a little bit of a, a board uh, fupa which nah, well, made it look like a, we had a draw a drawn game there at one stage but uh, when we checked the scores out properly it was a, a one a one shot win so uh, yeah you take those ones when you when you fall over yep you should know the score anyway shouldn't you I guess so. oh yeah 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 look it wasn't ideal but at the end of the day it was um, I don't I don't think it I don't think it determined what happened yeah, I thought we were up by 10 going into the last anyway, so it didn't really matter. That, <laughs> yeah, that, so. well, um, just a couple of real quick comments. Um, Fergo said, big shout out to Cohen for the greens produced on the weekend at uh, the All-Star Arena. It was uh, absolutely mint. Oh, beautiful. So, uh, this always, weekend, so that's good. Yeah, and uh, Anthony, Anthony Nola is a guy. He messaged us through the week on the Premier League page from uh, NZ. Uh, he said that, hi team, oh, I'm looking for a lead for the men's AO pairs and looking to join a fours team. Can play two, three or skip. PM me if you're interested. I am based in New Zealand, so if anyone wants a game for the AO uh, coming up in June, uh, get on to Anthony because he's keen to come over from uh, New Zealand and have a game. Very good. <laughs> All righty, yeah, let's move on to the next match. Uh, this was a big one. This way, Helensvale and Broad Beach. So, Helensvale 47, <laughs> just going down to Broad Beach 53. Uh, Brett Wilkie, 12 shots going down to Ryan George, Peter Bester, 18. <laughs> Uh, Nathan Rice, 24, a good win over his old mate Barry Lester, 14. And Kurt Brown, 11, his initiation into the Hawks. Uh, a tough one up against his old mate Sean Ingham, 21. So, Royal Beach just pipping on there. Would have been a uh, would have been a cracking game. Yeah, it's a, it's a good rivalry game, that one. Yeah. yeah There's a, a lot of spice in that one always. So, who wins to the Bulls, get yeah. their campaign off to a good start. So, uh, old Nugwit there having a good win over Curdy and... Oh, Lurchy boy's always consistent as ever, so... Yeah. Yeah, well, I, uh, well I've, I've got that a couple out, Helen's after that, so they'll, uh, they'll have Captain coming back and Kelsey coming back, so... It'll be interesting to see what they do with their sides for the next match coming up. Well, in Broadbeach you've got... <laughs> well, I've got Sheriff, Sheriff coming back, back, so... Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, a good that's fair in, yeah. That's fair. That's a, very fair. A-Ron, not, not A-A-Ron. He's only got one just, A in yeah, his name, A-Ron. A -Ron. <laughs> Uh, and in their reserve grade, uh, Helensvale 97 with the balls, a bit of a touch up 61. So, yeah, 36 shots. It's a solid start. That's a hammering. That's a paddling. That's a paddling. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we all caught one at the sun stage. But... Yeah. All right, our next cut, we had uh, Capalabar and Drayton. So, Capalabar 53 going down to Drayton 68. Uh, Jacob Nelson 15. Was defeated by Bo Prado, 26. Uh, Brad Piper, 19. Just pipped Hayden Vogler, 18 shots. And Kane Nelson, 19, going down to the nicest guy in lawn bowls, Kenta Treacher. So that's a uh, that's a very good start for Drayton. Yeah, to be honest, I, I, I didn't see that one coming, actually. I thought um, Bo was going to have a good game. I, I predicted Prado to play really, really well. But um, 
the other two ranks really surprised, and uh, especially there at uh, what are we calling it? The Soul Energy Arena. The Soul Energy Soul Arena. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I can get it. Like, roll off the that. tongue. Yeah. Get something else, Wedgie. What are you doing? Planetarium. Terrible. <laughs> But yes. uh, yeah, good win. Yeah, good win. Very good win for Drayton. The Outlaws. And uh, in the reserve grade, Capalabar 91, the feet of Drayton 61. So they they uh, return the win back there. There's the, still the hope. There's so. still hope. Yeah, it's a good first round. Mm. It's some interesting results, and uh, yeah, we're in for a big uh, big week this week. Well, especially the teams that lost, like obviously coming to a double header round. It's yeah. A, it's, a, it's a big weekend for those teams. Um, so, yeah. Is that it? That's it. Oh, awesome. Yep, very good. Is there someone missing? And do we have the ladder, Robbie? Uh, I didn't write the ladder on the run sheet, so he's lost here at the moment. I know Musgrave Hill are on top in the Premier side. <laughs> all those who won are on two points, all those who lost are on nothing. So but you will actually, your ladder. While, we're, well, while we're on that... Yeah. Well, I will mention that um, you will notice on Bowles Link that they have a point system that's um, not what we're accustomed to here for our Premier League, which we're looking to get and change, whether we can or not, I'm not sure, but we'll be producing a ladder every week that'll show, because we, uh, the way we score it is, you get two points for a win, one point for a draw, uh, then the next determining factor is your rink wins, and then after that, if that happens to be square, then it comes down to margin. Um, and if we square after that, then we get into four and against and all that sort of stuff. But it's yeah, it's win points, rink wins, and then margin is how we score. So we'll uh, our ladders will reflect that. And we've got the wonderful Emma Boyd on uh, doing a lot of our social media stuff. Yeah. So yeah, and yeah, she's doing a great job, some great work. Yeah, so, looks um, good. She's up. She uh, I nitpicked all their sheets the other night, <laughs> back and forth, and was a pain on pain in her bum for a while, but. No, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll all be up, uh, scratch and wall, you know what's going on. Awesome. Mm. All right, so there's uh, round one done and dusted. Good weekend for the Premier League. Um, just on that, in including the show and the live stream. Uh, so this last week's show and the live stream on the weekend, 30,000 people watched uh, uh, events over the Premier yeah. League for the week. It's so huge. that's, uh, that's huge number. for the Gold Coast live so stream. And, um, Can we top that? We can, well, can we? I'm sure like we can. Share the page. Get it nothing. Out there, um, yeah. I, I went through. I went through all the streams from last year, and uh, nothing comes close to that. Um, like the state titles, everything. No, no views like the Premier League. So, um, best competition in the country. Well, people just like you, yeah. mate. I mean, it's, yeah, you're a likable guy. So. Well, <laughs> we get people along like the Groat. I'm hoping we get the yeah. same amount of numbers. I'm probably watching tonight. So <laughs> Yeah. And good, good shout out to our guest last week too, Lauren. Well, we, I was uh, just about to say that if we don't get the same yeah. numbers this week, then Lauren's going to be claiming all those extras. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm sure he's on the VBs. One of his mates from America arrived today, I think. So uh, he'll be having a couple of drinks down here at Broody. Uh, uh, Chris, Lauren. Just uh, going on comment, Chris Monk uh, asked if there's a skips ladder this year. And if you go into Bowls Link, you'll, you'll see uh, a ladder for basically every player and you win a loss so um, yeah you, all that information available will once we get into the season and we play a few games we'll start collating that so we have a leaderboard and whatnot but one round in it's there's an awful lot of names on the list so <coughs> I think I can't remember the age if we decided to have a Premier League rink of the year rather than just the skips Dude. I was going back on our notes uh, on that, but yeah, we, we have talked about it because it, with bowls, one of the advantages is it's a lot more descriptive. And yeah, you, you have I don't think we. Mm, yeah, I, don't I don't think, think we like, do. Think I don't think we have a best skip like award this year. Like we normally have player of the finals now. Like, uh, okay. um, so yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah, um, cool. I think I've got some redemption to do for next for this weekend, so uh, we just get to start with the round two tips, tips. and um, teams for round lead, two, the double header round. If I take what's away, the score? Are we doing the score? How how far am I behind? Six points. Oh, that's nothing. Two. That's All nothing. Right, that's fair. Yeah, that'll be that would have been the extra point you gave him the after Capello uh, got beaten. 
The old he mate Nick Gosley too is just, He uh, had the right score <laughs> for the ring. And, uh, sorry, I'm going to put the point. I'm getting stitched up here. And, um, and obviously the Muzzy Hamilton game. Oh, hang on, don't <coughs> forget last year, Doge. Oh, you were actually Hamilton, yeah. That's right, you tipped Hamilton, didn't you? Right. <laughs> you were actually oh, given hey. points last year. Hey, hey, what's that? You got points last year on Bakes by, well, same having, thing. The, by having the oh, right. right points right. last year. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. That'll make you feel better. John hey. Blackman, come on, John Blackman. Yeah. Must be a Palmer, eh? Winge and win. <laughs> uh, actually, um, Gro Gail Gary, Gertie from um, Hamo, Gertie. she said, hey, Groat, Gertie would love a pink cap, please. Has my initials. It does. Look at that. Gail oh, yeah. Gertie, Gertie girl. <laughs> One for Gertie girl. Gertie. Well, come come see me, Gertie. Um, all right. Round two tips. Round two. Here we go. Let's Round go. two teams and tips. I did all the results, mate. Right? So you, yep. You I'm, I've got this. Here. I've got this. All right. So we have... Uh, ooh, this is a good game. Pine Rivers versus Tweed Heads. Uh, Robbie Wilde up against Gary Kelly. R uh, Berner, Ryan Burnap against Corey Wedlock and Chris Rosanis up against Peter Taylor. So, Cos is back in the team and um, it's going to be a cracker. Chloe Stewart's back in the team as well. So, even after a good win, Jesus, after uh, after having a win like that, would you? Um, is, does Corey deserve his spot? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Corey and Chloe away with uh, Trans Tasman duties last week. So, uh, it's going to be a cracking game. Uh, uh, it's at Pine too. Um, geez, tough one. It is a tough one. Yeah, I, I back tweet to um to be in the final this year actually. So um, given their side, I am going to go an upset here. I'm going to go the Pirates are um two rings to one, and I think it will be um the Wild Man and uh, Chris Rosanna's getting up on that one, and Corey just getting up over Burner. Okay. Um, two great looking sides, aren't they? And obviously, there's a couple of really big names at the back end, but I think Pine at their own deck, first game of the day, are probably going to be a bit. I'm going to agree with you. I think two rings to one. Oh. I think Pine are, Pine are being a bit too good there. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tip against Tweet because I'm you with you. They're one of my oh. specials, but. I'm happy to yeah, give. That's, uh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I'm happy to give the kiss of death to Pine. Good luck, boys. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, at home. No, no, no. Oh, no, all three for Pine, yeah, mate. Yeah. yeah. No, no. They're, Shit. They're looking good up there. Uh, same Pine on two. Yeah. All right. Well, this very gentleman starts the Tim and Come here we go. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, we got Capalaba and Broad Beach. Uh, so Kavala Bar, got Darren Brown, Dave Thomas, Jim, John Finlayson, and Jacob Nelson. Are oh, you going for the old team? Oh, no, you go. No, uh, Kepler. <laughs> Kepler's in the side. That's why I saw his name, so I thought I had yeah. to call that out. Yeah, and the next one is Kepler Wessels, Jaden Patel, Brad Piper, Dylan Fisher. I uh, don't think Dylan was there last week. No, he was his he first wasn't. game yeah, of the year. Yeah, yeah. Great bloke and a great player, too. Uh, Riley Garrick, Al Fossum, Cody Garrick and Kane Nelson and they're up against Peter Hobday, Mitch Mears, Clint Bailey and Ryan George, Peter Bester, Brad Lawson, Thomas Nathan, Sean Ingham and Aaron Richardson Tease. And they get back to three for Tease, which is a pretty dangerous little combo. Uh, Roger Stevens, Jerry Davis, Barry Lesser and Aaron Sheriff. So that's going to be a good game. Absolute cracker. Oh, that would be an awesome game to get to, actually. It will be a good game. Uh, yeah, mate, you're away, old Bakesy. Uh, at Capalabar, I still think Broadbridge is going to be too strong. I think uh, they got a good start last week. They're back to full strength. I think there'll be a bit of feeling in this one, and they'll just get over the line on one and a half rings. One and a half rings. One and a half rings. Uh... Yeah, look, I'm just. Uh, I'm gonna go. The, I'm gonna go the comments. I'm gonna go a little bit of an upset here. I'm gonna go the comments on one rink, and um, I think. Um, I, well, I don't know who's gonna win, but it's gonna be Capalabar on one. Capalabar on one. Yep. Oh, that's a very uh, out there tip for you, mate. You're mm. normally very conservative. I am you? a percentage sort of tipper. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've got Broad Beach at unbackable odds. There you go. All, oh. all three rinks oh, done. Wow. 
<laughs> They'll be talking about that on the comments chat tonight. That, that great bloke. <laughs> yep. Well, you folks can acknowledge um, how correct I was next week. All right. All right. Well, here we go. <laughs> Saturday morning here at the Dolphin Co. Paradise Point up against the mighty Hamilton Power. Uh, Balaki Nan. Uh, so we'll go uh, Glenn Clinkett, Wilson Alexander, Darren Christie, Blake Nan up against uh, Graham Shillington, Hayden Leslie, Jason Moore, and Shannon Giddos. Michael Brotherton, Simon Burton, Jay Cross, and Desi Cairn up against Toddy McIntosh, Steve Springrate, The Doge, and Dean McWinney. Billy Cornells, Curtis Black, Judd Percy, and Kobe Barton up against The Mellon, Alan Howard, Jacinta Weir, Lauren Dion, and Nathan Wise. Yeah, a few changes to your side, mate. They look, they look good. Yeah, a couple of little shuffles there, good. mate. A couple yeah. of little shuffles. Um, Louis out with a bad back. So. Yeah, Louis unfortunately um, fell off a ladder and uh, he's oh, okay. hurt himself oh, through the right. week. So best wishes to um, Louis. Hope you, hope you recover and well there, young fella. And um, yeah, so we had to we'll sort of force a couple of changes there. So, uh, but yeah, yeah Hayden's... Do you uh, ask your tip or... Hayden's one of our state under 18, so good okay. to see him making his yeah. debut into the top yeah, side of Premier League. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. He'll go well. Um, yeah, I, um, I'll i go Hamilton 2-1. Uh, I think uh, I think the home ground advantage is going to be a bit too much for you on the, on the morning, unfortunately. Mm. I'm going I'm to tip Paradise Point to open their account uh, and get up. Uh, 2 1. Well, there's one back for the Doge. This has upset you a little bit. I know you've been cranky with me tonight, so this upset you a bit more. And <laughs> don't make me bring out the rumor mill, Bakes. Don't make me bring out the rumor mill. No rumor mill. So, no surprise. I'm, I'm on Hamilton. Not at uh, such long odds as I've uh, put Broadbeach in, but, no. um, but yeah, comfortable. I'll, I'll, I'll go the 2 1, but um, two one. I, think they'll have a couple is, yeah. of, I think they'll have a couple of rinks that get up pretty well. They're, they're due to fire. Yep. Due because we played one game, so they yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I tell you what, if you don't get started now, you're going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the whole thing. fluff around too much. Getting uh, like, uh, at, at, the end of, at the end of, uh, end of Saturday, we're three in. So, yeah, that's what know. I like about these double headers, two in one day. Like, yeah, you get a lot out of one day of bite play. Absolutely. Alrighty, next up we've got Drayton and Burley Heads. So, Jade Parkinson, Shane Greentree, Robbie Hammond, and Steve Glasson. The glass. The glass makes his Queensland return. Try to sneak that Drayton. in there, didn't you? How did they do that? That's, uh, <laughs> wow, welcome. That's brilliant. And their rink is playing Tyler Pettigrew, Ian Law, Gary Pearson, and David Ferguson. Uh, Steve McNummy, Mark, Mark Wright, and Hagen Vogler, and Jakey Rin makes his debut for the year. He was away last week. They're up against Michael Anderson, Scott Franklin, Michael Stead, and Dale McWinnie Shillington. And finally, the third ring, Andrew Batterham, John Hammond, Jason Grundon, and Kent Atresha, playing Gary Law, Robbie Chester, Indy Conlon, and Ben Twist. So the Battle of the Saints there, Kent are playing Twisty, and yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a good game. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's here a, at, uh, a here good at Paradise, game. isn't it? No, uh, it's a Drayton. Oh, sorry, is it? No, 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 no it's, it's here. No, it's here. It's yeah, my, yeah. Come on, boys. It's here. Yeah, yeah. It's here. Yeah. No, boys. Just, you know, I, was, I was all over that, mate. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Um, that's here, isn't it? Okay. So they'll be, so playing, that'll be out on the grass. They'll be out on the grass. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm going to tip Drayton for the upset. I know Burley's a great side, and I, you know, I think they're top three for this season, but I think this is going to be a good, uh, good test for them. I think Drayton are going to get up 2 1. Well, I actually thought this game was a Drayton looking at it, so I was going to go. I was going to go Drayton. I was going to go Drayton because their greens are generally pretty slick up there, and then Burley's greens mm. are generally a bit doughy um, this time of year. So uh, I'm not hearing like that Paradise's greens are running all that quick at the moment outside. So being on the grass first up, I am going to go Burley. Uh, what's it? I think they might be in here. No, nah, I'm playing. We're playing first up, mate. Yeah. Paradise, yeah, Paradise, 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 I'm going to go Burley. He has um, got hook, line and sinker. He has just sold you the biggest dummy that you've ever seen. I'll go Burley 3-0. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, all right. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I think uh, Burley up on that one. It's um, Drayton had a great start, so it's, it's difficult to uh, keep it running every week. So uh, maybe the maybe the yo-yo up last week, down this week. Two trips to Paradise in two weeks for Drayton. Mm. Well, I suppose everywhere they go is a trip, and <laughs> there's no local games for them. All right, next one. Uh, Algest All Stars up against the Inogra Eagles. We got Todd Brain, Paul Gilbert, Tyson Wilson, and Cohen Litfin up against Russell Van Omrick, Bradley Flegler, Stuart McCosh, and Harley McDonald, um, Jack Chergren, Billy Millitnos, and um, Matthew Norrie, Glenn Pitts, Emma Spicer, James Wise, Big Jimmy Wise, Jay Dor, and Ryan Digby, uh, Hayden Oster, Samuel Collier, Anthony Williams, and Mason Lewis is. There's another one in, Ooh. so we must be missing. There's no. Um, well, what's his name? Bloody, we're missing El Jesse Skipper. Um, Nick Gosley. Yeah, Nico. Nick Gosley's missing in, out of there. Tim Smith. Um, and uh, Dean Sluice, Tommy Blazik, Alan Newman, and uh, Brendan Egan. Uh, Alan Newman. That's an interesting in there. It's the same Alan yeah. Newman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mason Lewis. And matchups are good there. I am. Um, and this for future is Billy Mitsilinios. Just the Greek god, alright? We'll just say <laughs> that, alright? Um, <laughs> It's an ongoing joke that I, I happen to pronounce it right. Uh, so. I'm, I'm terrible. He knows it. Um, I love you, though, Billy. You're a legend. Oh, Ooh, tough one. It is a tough one. At the All Star Arena, too. Um, yes. I'm going to go Nogra. I'm going to go Nogra on two. Nogra on two at yep. El Jester. At El Jester. Yeah. Let's loose in. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you there. I think you're not going to open their account. Harley McDonald's a big in for them. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, you're not going to 2-1. Yeah, well, I think it's pretty clear. First uh, first draw of the season. Yeah, well, I like that. Yeah. I'll do who? Inogra? Draw. 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 Oh, yeah, draw. See, a draw has went both sides. Yeah. Get the same score. <laughs> I was reading comments, but I was yeah. <laughs> Sorry, gross. That's all right, mate. I talk, you don't have to listen. Yeah, no, That's no. <laughs> I done my talking. I was over to you. I was just. All righty, our next matchup. Big one here. Musgrave Hill Pelicans taking the hell of our Hawks. Uh, first matchup, we got Phil Jordan, Sam White, Greg Rolls, and Sean Baker taking on Kelsey Cottrell, Anthony Keepy, Adam White, and Brett Wilkie. Dean Drummond, Callum Brownie, Peter Brown, and Lee Schreiner taking on Isaac Moore and Matty Lucas playing too, which is interesting. Uh, Jason Constable and Nathan Rice. Uh, successful trans table, so well on the captain. And Kelsey, of course. I think the, the ladies were successful too. So, And then we've got Gary Mounsey, Jaden Christie, Ben Walsh, and Stephen Tong taking on Scott Dijon, Finn Pat Fitzpatrick, Ron Wilson, Andrew Howie, and Curdy Brown. So... Big matchup for us. Uh, I think you don't have to ask me my tip. You know that it's going to be Musgrave on two with the Baker bloke getting a narrow loss, just to holding it together for the big board. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. It's. I, you know, I would have probably. I'd probably like to see uh, Chucky playing three for Wiz in that rink. To be fair, um, I think it'd be like, just might be a little bit stronger that way around. So. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to go the Hawks just on um, just because it's Bakes' team and um, he didn't back <laughs> us. So um, I'm going to go the Hawks on two and um, at El Jester. Is that El Jester? At El Jester. Oh, sorry, mate, I didn't know that. Yeah, Hawks on three then. <laughs> um, no, no, we'll go Hawks on two, mate. Hawks on two. Yeah. 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 So yeah well, I've got to go. Uh, any team that can roll uh, the power in the first round has got to be on a pretty strong roll, so it looks like uh, Musgrave up. Here you go, Leroy, and, uh, Leroy coming in. And if you're sacrificing your rink, I'll go 2-1. Oh, it's not my choice. I don't, oh, I don't I, just say, uh, you I know, know, throw I know. me, but I, it's, I'm Bill realistic it. about these things, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey Guttrell, one of the, the most formed players in the country at the moment. No, it should be a good game. Across the board, probably the best female player in the world at the moment. Oh, that's without a shadow of a doubt. But even 
across, uh, <laughs> you know, just one of the best players in general, not, not any particular gender. Um, there is a very sick dolphin in the room. Yeah. Sense, it? <laughs> All right. How we go? That's it. Uh, All right. Round three. Two, round three. Round three. Here we go. So this is the uh, the afternoon game. Yeah. Just, the, just uh, be advised that teams may change in between games. So. Um, but we'll go through the teams. Uh, we have uh, Pine Rivers up against Capella Bar. Um, so teams may change, but we'll just go Pine against Capella Bar. The teams up on the screen currently, so they may change between games, but right now that's what they look like. So uh, pretty sure it's a Pine Rivers double header up there. So um, yeah, look, I'm I'm going to stick with um, I'm going to stick with Pine. I think they're going to have a perfect start to their season, 3-0, and uh, I will go them on all three rinks. Uh, well, I tip them with the upset in the morning, but I think that's just going to take the wind out of them, and Kapala Bar, after their loss to Drake, no, did I tip them in the last in the first round today? But anyway, I think after their morning game, I think they're going to come up firing, and they're going to be too good for Pine in the afternoon, so I'm going to go Kapala Bar 2-1. Hmm. Well, there's, uh, there's no real drinkers in the side, so the, the uh -huh. afternoon game after a, <laughs> after a long one shouldn't come into it, which I can't uh, say that will be the case for every side in the comp this weekend, but uh, I think I'd have to stick with uh, Pine Rivers at home. Well, I think Aaron Houston doesn't mind a beer. Oh, Aaron's a he's changed man. Around. He is. Yeah. He is. Yeah, he's a family... Yeah, he's getting old now. He's family man here. now. He's, uh, yeah, he's got it all, all happening. And he has ten. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And Paul Vardy says over here, the other green that Muzzy versus Hawks, Hawks is playing in is slow, so that'll hoot, suit the Pelicans. And Luke Turner says Rowan Scotty were late outs last week, so they're making a return. So. Oh, favouritism there, Barton. <laughs> Alrighty, our next matchup, Tweed Heads and Brawl Beach. This is going to be a ripper. Uh, so obviously your team's are up on the board there. Gary Kelly's playing best there. Corey Wedlock's playing his good mate Teasy and Peter Taylor's playing Sheriff. So, <laughs> look at that. Six skippers. All uh, international standard players. Does it have to be a live stream, would it not? No, no it's not. No, they're at Pine. Uh, oh, yeah, you're up at Pine. Stream. Wow, yeah, eh? So. We're, we're live streaming tweet. Yeah, uh, sorry. yeah, but that, you know, there's a cracker twice. of a game that... Uh, it won't be seen. Some somebody might take a few highlights on their yeah, uh, but it'll be up to the on, home on their old Nokia to, to put them on those rinks, and you wouldn't give away your home game for your own. <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, um, I'm willing to let you go first if you want to tip first, Dojo. Or... Oh, if I read out the teams, mate, I would. But it's your <laughs> turn, so away you go, mate. I, uh... <clears throat> Where are they playing? They're fine. So I tipped Tweed to get beat in the morning, didn't I? I think Tweed are going to win this one. I think Tweed are going to bounce back. And uh, I think they're going to get up on one and a half rings each. So Tweed up overall, one and a half rings. Yeah, I... Um, I'm going to go Broad Beach on two. I think... Uh, Ryan George Peter will get beaten narrowly, and uh, TZ and uh, Sheriff will win. TZ up against Corey. <laughs> yeah, nice yeah one. two great mates. So yeah. If that's how. If TZ's watching, tell us, tell us who's get, who gets the better of who, mate, when you, you obviously play against each other enough. And they seem to come across each other in a few events, and I'm sure they roll up and practice together. So who gets the better of who, mate? Yeah. Who wins out of TZ and Corey? So it'll be uh, an outstanding Saturday when you've got a draw in the first, in the, what will be the second round, and here's another draw in the third round. So uh, that'll be something for you blokes to talk about <laughs> next week, the weekend where we had two draws in the same day. If you get all these right, we're going to have to ring you every week yeah. to get your tips. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a... yeah. And um, Dave, you understand the draw? I do, yeah, both... I was listening this time. Yeah, yeah. So if they both score listening. the same, Good. isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So the big board, not That's the, yeah. the big board. Yeah. 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 When it's 77-76 and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So when the big board shows us a draw, but <laughs> it's not. So yeah, it well, we should clarify then. When the, <laughs> when the cards all equal up to the same score. Uh, just a, since, we're, since we're at Pine, there was a comment here from one of our mates, Bakesy from uh, Melbourne, uh, old T-Bone, oh, yeah. Tommy Lester. Yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, the Mexes. Shout out to the Mex's dad, and I uh, hope he's yeah, feeling. Yeah, old Dazzle. Yeah. Hope he's feeling better, old yeah. Daryl. So uh, he that's, was back in it? hospital this week, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, but he's, yeah. Up, he's out with Kent Treacher in the nicest bloke category. Who's that, Daryl? Daryl. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. One of, one of the best guys yeah. going around. Probably like my, was my right hand loves for many what, many years. Yeah, yeah. loves no, watching the yeah. game, but you never really see him. He's always just floating oh. around, watching a bit of this, a bit of that. If I, mate, and I've played this game for a long time, but if I didn't know someone, I'd just ask Daryl and he'd be like, Yeah, yeah, that's that guy. Fucking hell, mate. Yeah. <laughs> his, his son's a little dodgy, but yeah, 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 Daryl's nah. a great bloke. Yeah, you, can't, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks, to, uh, thanks T-Bone. And uh, obviously our good mate uh, down in uh, Tassie, or Jado, always watches yeah, the show. Jado. Um, Brody's still missing Gary Lawson. And, uh, and then his next comment is 7,000 beers on there. And... Uh, Couple of smiley faces. <laughs> Good to see you enjoying yourself down there, Jado. Farm life. Yeah. You ready to come back yet? Yeah, mate. We we'll miss you. Yeah, we <laughs> want to get back to our um, me and Tongi in a rematch for um, bot golf, mate. Oh, they're still, up, they're still upset about that we yeah. smashed them, mate. <laughs> One shot. Smashed them. Give them a sniff. All Let's right. Play with them. Here we go. Is it Michael? It's your call. Paradise mate. up against Burley. Uh, that is here at uh, Paradise Point. And that will be on the carpet. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I am um, Blakey Fergon, Desi Dale. That's a that's a fair draw. I am going to tip uh, the Dolphins to get their first win uh, after they still licking their bloody <laughs> dorsal fins after getting beaten by the power in the morning. <laughs> They're going to come out and. Um, they're going to come out and uh, give Burley Heads a bit of a touch-up, I reckon, actually. I think they'll, I'll back him by um, at least a dozen shots. Okay. On, um, Robbie's giving me the stare down, so I'm going to have to say um, two oh, rings to one. And because he's sitting at the table in front of me, Kobe's going to get beaten by at least four. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> Des- Desi and Blake to get up. Yeah. Uh, well, I th- well, I tip Paradise Point to beat you guys, so I think that... High is this going to get the better of them in the afternoon? And they're going to lose three 0 unfortunately. I think uh, that Burley side is going to be a bit too good. Uh, Fergo and Twisty on this carpet, and yeah, actually, no, two one. I think oh, he got he went and got me. I don't think Kobe will win, so I think Kobe's going to win the deal back and down. Oh. So two one. I think he's just going to pip Twisty. Well, I would have gone Kobe too if he had bought me a beer earlier, but you know, so. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've heard they're going to uh, water down the green in the morning for the Burley boys, slow them up a bit, mm-hmm. tie them out, and uh, then pop them over onto the carpet in the quick. So just for tactics alone, oh, I'm going Paradise. Nice. Got to use your home ground advantage where you can. But, and it, well, that's, that's the thing, though. The carpet's so good, it's not really home ground advantage. Like you look, well, It is after they slow that down to five <laughs> seconds for the boys in the morning. Yeah, mate, It'll be running again in the afternoon with all the... You know, it'll dry out. It's Premier League, mate. It doesn't take you 21 years to get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> takes, takes me 21 weeks, mate. That's why I'm a Reggie. That's why all you're right. the great. All right, and next up, we got the uh, the mighty Hamilton Power playing Drayton. So there's your rink draw. Shannon Giddos is playing Steve Glasson. Dean McWinney is up against Jakey Wren. The old false start. And Nathan Wise playing Kenta Treacher. So a bit of New South Wales rivalry there. It'll be out on the grass, so you guys are going from the carpet to grass, but again, it shouldn't take you too long. So I'm going to actually tip you guys in this one. I think. Oh, shit. Yeah. I think Giddos will get up. Robbie, his, you writing that down, mate? I think Giddos will get yeah. up for his game against Glass, and um, yeah, Wise, you'll have, you'll be up for that. So I think, yeah, you guys are going to win 2-1 on that one, don't you? 2-1. Yeah, look... We don't have an amazing record against all besides, to be fair, old power. Um, it's actually quite horrendous, to be fair. Um, hmm. But uh, given that it's not, it's in a neutral ground, of course I'm going to go to the power. And uh, we're going to have a perfect weekend this weekend. We, we like coming up here to the Dolphin Cove. And uh, I think uh, I'm going to go again, uh, Hamilton on two. Hmm. 
Well, it's a particularly dangerous game for the power because we have to front up at Drayton the following week. So riding into town after having a win, some of the locals may not be too yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. I think we should uh, you know, keep it pretty tight but still get up. Up on two. Very good. So that's uh, oh no, it's got some more. So Al Jester at Hellers Bar. So this will be at uh, at Al Jester. So Colin Litford will play Brett Wilkie. Glenn Pitts will play a Lurchy Boy, Nathan Rice, and Mason Lewis will play Kurt Brown. Uh, well, Helen's Val, they're, yeah, they're going to, after they're hiding in the morning, they're going to come out, <laughs> all guns blazing. They're going to be fired up after the drubbing they just copped in the morning. So uh, I think they're going to be a bit too good here, and I think they're going to be a bit too good on all three rinks, unfortunately. For, uh, yeah, I can't actually can't fault that either. Actually, I, uh, if uh, I, I, all stars are going to struggle this season, I think I think uh, Helen's are going to win. Same three nil. Yeah. Compare's kiss of death. Three, three to <laughs> Helen's <laughs> There we go. So well done to Al Jess on your three nil win. <laughs> but uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we heard you like the pink, mate. Paul Vardy just pointed out too that maybe a record against uh, Drayton is not so great because of the bus ride. So without the bus ride, it might be a bit, might be a bit well, for you guys. <laughs> it, it's tough pushing a bus up that hill. Yeah, it is. Oh we, we don't, yeah. we don't pay, we don't getting up that hill. To we don't pay good money for the buses, obviously. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's, there has that, been some scary trips. Yeah, scary trips up and some long trips home. Alrighty, our oh, next oh, matchup oh, is against the Inaugural Bobby. Eagles, against the uh, Musgrave Hill oh, Pelicans. Oh, the unnamed Musgrave like Hill. Yeah. But, uh, no, you'd have Sean Baker's ring playing on uh, Harley McDonald. Then you'd have Lee Strainer playing Ryan Digby and Stephen Tong playing his good mate Brendan Egan. So it's going to be a good matchup there. Interesting. Yeah. Where is this at? That's at Al Jester. Al Jester. It's like a home game for me, 15 minutes around the corner from where I live. Yeah. Look, uh, for you. Well, I've got big wraps on Harley as well, so it's going to be a good mm. game. I'm going to enjoy that one. Yeah. Good if he's still got the beard, I'll back him. That is a good beard. Mm, it is, it's fair. Yeah, it's mm. fair. As far as beards go, he's, he's got an impressive one. Mm. Plenty of fluff, <laughs> good air, circulation. Uh, I'm going to back, I'll, I'll back Muzzy on two here, this one. Oh, kiss it, Dad. You did that on purpose. Muzzy on two here, so, um,. I think uh, Bakesy will just get up, and uh, I think Tongi will have a good win. Tongi have a good win. Yeah, well, I, I have to agree with him. Muzzy on two, but I think my ring again will just just go down, but by enough that it keeps the scoreboard in our favour the overall. So, okay. mm. two on the Muzzy. Yeah, I'm going to go the upset. I'm going to go the other way. There you go. You heard it first. You're doing that on purpose. Well. Not really an upset though, because they're a quality it, side. Well, yes, but when when the favoured side gets beaten, that's called an upset. Yeah, but so, how, well, how, how do you get favoured though? Well, you're favoured. You you're favoured yeah. because you both tipped them. That makes you the favourites. <laughs> so at this no, stage, the, know, tipsters, the tipsters have tipped you. Need at least a minimum. Well, you're, you're talking about you're talking about a team that's I, been I think struggling for the last couple of seasons. They get I think the when, the, when a horse good. is a favourite, it's the one that most people back, isn't it? Yeah. Where all the money goes uh, is what yeah, makes the favourite. Yeah, but that's over a... a oh, no, I don't know a lot of these of, things. That's the minimum amount of bets, though. You, you hey, know, who's the... Um, taking two one dollar bets. Who's the yeah. golf... You know, so you've got, like, some of the best clubs in the country play on the Gold Coast, right? Is that fair? Yeah. Royal I think, Challenge, well, I yeah. think the Gold Coast district in itself is... Who are the, the, who are the Gold Coast isn't? Division One pennant champions currently? Yeah, mighty Pelicans. The Pelicans? So yeah. that would probably make them favourites yeah. against someone like a Nogba, right? We come out and get Belden in the zone play up against Palawa, <laughs> Standard. Uh, all right, so that's round three done. done. Rounds two and three. Big weekend. Yeah, double header rounds. Be massive. Uh, good luck to all the clubs that are um, hosting those double headers. It should be a good weekend for your club, and um, all the best. So, not for not for obviously here at Paradise for the first round, but behind the bar, I'll get they'll go all right there. Uh, all right, Robbie Baker's dozen with the Groats and yeah, Sean this Baker. A, this was a big one. 
um, very favoured guests. And we've never, never probably had someone that's in the public eye as much as hey. you. Hey, hey. Yeah, good photo. That's the beard. Make him dance. Hey. hey! I'm not sure about the hair. What's going on with the hair there? There's a few more grey. It should be more grey. <laughs> the baker's dozen. Take it away, Banksy boy. Well, the, the, the first question has to be asked because I get asked it so often. You know, people that know you, they, I don't know why they seem to think that I'm the, I'm the inside track on what goes on with you, but they always ask me, how does the groat handle the fame? How do you... Oh, how do you do it? Like, well, it's, it's not difficult because there is no fame. <laughs> the, only, the only fame is what I make up in my own head. <laughs> so sometimes I, sometimes I sit out on the balcony and have a few beers and Jeez, entertain myself. Waves off the, yeah, entertain myself. Red, yeah. Um, I, one thing I do like to do is if I ever I get recognised and they say, I've seen you, you're the growth, I do like to sort of put the hand out and, and shake the hand and say, well, this must be a real pleasure for you. Okay. So, so I noticed you put your that, right that, hand out there to show you that which is tradition, but yeah. when signing autographs, do you, do you use your right hand or your left? Well, I'll have to... I know to, you're different to Craig, so... Yeah, 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 but I'll have to tell you whenever I sign my first <laughs> autograph. I've never I've never been asked for an autograph, um, so okay. it's uncharted waters. And so how long has the great been playing bowls for? Oh, the great's been playing bowls if you... Oh, it's, how, his, how his, long his had, alter ego, Craig. How long has Craig been playing bowls for? <laughs> uh, I started when I was 21 originally okay, uh, yeah. at Casino. Ah, yeah. right, yeah. Yeah, back in uh, about 1985, I think it was. Okay. Uh, turned was, up for a bit of a sausage sizzle. I was one year old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, won the, won the um, C-grade singles there. The, yeah. the plaque used to be up in the toilets for many years. In and, the toilets? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paul yeah. Sager, a good mate of mine, is one of C grade singles at Bow Desert, I hear about a there lot. There you go, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's where it all started. Okay. And at what stage did you hit the growth status? Like, if you started, obviously, that's a long time ago. Did you, were you growth from the start, or is oh, this no. just like. No, I used to actually be able to play pretty well. Yeah. And uh, I slowly declined, and I needed a new angle. So when I, when I couldn't get into the good sides because I was a good player, mm. I thought, well, how do I resurrect this? So yeah. I, um, I just invented the growth. And I guess magically you just happen to match the criteria. As <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's funny when you write a criteria, it's it's not too hard to match it, and um, it's it's worked to a point. It hasn't got me back in the good sides, but now I <laughs> now I can pretend that I don't want to play there because I've got to protect my growth status. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So your down game. What shot is? Groat's best chance of winning the game with a winner. Like what, what's your what's his best shot? What's your favourite shot? If, you, if you're down if, game and you have to play if something, I'm, what is it? If I'm under pressure, I will nine out of ten, ten times go to the draw. Go to the draw. Draw the shot. That's yeah. Well, I always back myself to to attempt yep. to uh, to draw out of trouble. Yep. yep. Nice confident draw. Can't go wrong, yep. can you? Uh, and uh, which club is the Groat's rival? Obviously, uh, you've been involved with Premier League now, which is uh, part of the criteria. So yeah. which, which club does the Groat not like very much? It's between us. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, it's, I believe Robbie's turned the cameras and the microphones it's off. It's a so. difficult question because <laughs> um, I've, I've come up with, with Doge in the huddles and the and the thing that... I said, I don't like Doge. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit closer to home than, than another club. But no, um, in, in the huddles, apparently we hate everybody. At the end of it, so yeah, no, and, and, I, and like I've that. gone. You know, some of these blokes aren't bad. You know, we hate them, but yep. um, yeah, I, I don't. Um, I don't particularly have any club that I that I dislike. I, I really, I can't no, afford. No rival. It's not no, someone oh, here. Just look, get that little bit up or more when you play. Like always. Uh, yeah, I, I think um, always always enjoy the the game against Anogra. I, okay, I guess yep. um, because we played them in pennant as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing better than snuffing out their hopes right at the uh, <laughs> right at the back end of a game. So, yeah, Nogrods, I guess. So what? Well, obviously, we see the caps and yep. shirt. And what, what, what made you start the great gear, mate? Where where'd the idea come from? Well, the whole thing started out a bit, a bit of an in, in-house joke at, at the power. I used to just do little videos internally for the for the guys uh, before games as a bit of a joke, and then it got a little bit further and uh, got the Facebook page and. 
So um, it just seemed like a, a natural progression. Um, it's it's something that I I sell at cost or give away, so it's not a money making venture. <laughs> You're <laughs> I, not being able to retire early. No, or no, I haven't made one cent out of it. It's cost me money, but it's it's good fun and it's great to go to different places and see somebody with your shirt or your cap on or yeah, that makes uh, me appreciate they had a lot more so yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so. I, I actually got a, a comment the other day from the state uh, juniors and they said uh, they said oh, have a look at this picture and I'm looking at the picture and I said what, what am I looking at they said lady in the crowd there's got your uh, <laughs> got your hat on and it was um, uh, young um, oh his name gets me young Cody yeah. Garrick? No, 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 no. Young, young fellow won his first uh, under 15 singles. Um, oh. Oh, um, Hayden Austin? No, no, no. Chris no. Monk and no, Ellie Burr's son, Steve? Cooper. Cooper. Yeah, Coops. Cooper. Cooper. Yeah, young yeah, Coops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coops. Yeah, young Coops came team. into, um, Coops into Hamilton them. one time and, and, and he, he said he knew me, so we had a little roll up and I gave yeah, him a hat. No. And uh, no. anyway, his mum was what, wearing the hat while she was watching young Coops do his thing and, uh, and, he, and he did. He did great. So yeah, a good year actually in the state. Yeah, he had titles, a fantastic yeah. year and a, and a great young yeah, man too. Yeah. Uh, and do you have a favourite Premier League club to play at? Like, is there somewhere that you love going to? But uh, where? Outside yeah. Outside from Hamilton, of course. Yeah, there's there's a there's a couple of and them. Musgrave Hill, maybe. I don't <laughs> know. You can say that if you want to. But I could, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, 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 <laughs> it's not. Um, I got. It's it? not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no one likes coming to the Pelican's Nest. Yeah, it's yeah. Always no. a hard day. No, there's a couple of greens you get on that um, when you get onto them that you, you, you know, you always like and you, yeah, you know, because you, you tend to Broad Beach feel, feel yeah. like you play well. Always love well, well Pelican's Vale, Beach, I would yeah. say, is, is the one I really enjoy. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've always, I've Have always you found the, the new carpet yet. No, I haven't been down there yeah. for that one yet. Yeah. No, but I'm uh, looking forward to getting down there. But um, mm. no, I've always really loved going down to Helen's Vale. Uh, particularly if you make the finals and they're hosting those sorts of things well, over the years. The I know this year is different, <laughs> but I'm just saying in the past <laughs> yeah. they, they've been they, big they games do, there as well. And, and, and I've had some club. good times down there. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, after a great year this year for the Reggies, mate, you might Muzzy might become your favourite. Favorite well, you know, yeah, well being host of the finals. The flag there, well, yeah. well, let's yeah, let's get up there and have a look. Yeah, yeah, we got one step at a time. We've got to get there first. And does does the great travel a lot for bowls? I obviously with. This day and age, lots of things to play in. Yeah, I like to get around a little bit. Um, we've got a, we've got a few groups. So uh, I go to a little tournament up at Glen Innes every year. There's a little okay. triples yes. one. Uh, Woodgate, Woodgate yeah. uh, annually. That's a that's a great trip. Um, heading out to uh, Chinchilla uh, soon with Timmy Jones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how he'll go. He hasn't picked up a bowl in two years. But <laughs> it's like riding a bike. It's only long oh, bowls, mate. It's he, he, he can throw bricks down. Yeah, take a couple. Get, he, right. he can do that, no problem at all. So, um, yeah, I, I love getting around. Um, that's the part I like about bowls is, is the social aspect. Yeah. You, you see so many people, meet so many great friends. And, um, yeah. and that, that's what bowls is really all about. Yeah. Uh, and would the great change anything about bowls because you know, is there any particular rule oh, I don't know like get rid of the, the dickheads foot folding or no all mark. of this foot folding stuff <laughs> Look, the, the, I'm not going to have a crack at you mate you what you, you know, like, Every, well, everybody's on everybody's <laughs> on your bandwagon <laughs> you know if you want to get a little bit closer to the head and it helps you you know you go for it I'd, I'd, I'd challenge anyone to yeah. Use my delivery I, I think I think a lot of, I think <laughs> a lot of the rules that people I do. Good luck to you. Yeah, I think a lot of the rules that people worry about um, have no real effect on on what happens at the end of the of the journey of your bowl. So um, look, I, I think as long as people play it in a good spirit, that's that's all that really worries me. If people are playing in a good spirit, they're observing the rules because yeah. they're there for a reason. So you're not there to flaunt the rules, but um, yeah, I'm a bit nice yeah. even with that. It's yeah, a good spirit. But um, you know, I, I don't have any particular rule that I like to change. No. You, you know the rules before you go into a competition. If you don't like the particular yeah, yeah. rules, don't play yeah. it. And I guess that's the beauty of our game is you have lots of lots of different conditions to play and yep. different formats and whatnot. So you do you do know before you enter something. Absolutely. Uh, how does uh, how does the game of long ball thrive in your opinion? Like obviously you seem to be a very intelligent man, which. You know, I could be wrong in my yeah. assessment there, but no, you seem to be. You know, how do, how does in European, how does the game evolve thrive? Yeah, it, yeah. look, it 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 is a difficult one because everybody has the best ideas um, until you implement them, and yeah. implementation in the game is really is really difficult thing to do. But uh, 
Look, I, th I think we've got to just keep concentrating on on bringing people through. So the clubs that are doing their thing with the juniors, power to them. Um, they'll have their successes and they'll have their failures. People, but what you do know is if you can get some young people into the game early, even if they go away from they tend to stray away for a while, but they always seem to come back. Yeah. And you know, I think if we're getting people, particularly if we can get people through the game in their 30s and early 40s, um, yeah. that's going to keep the game really healthy. Yeah. And I think we've got a lot to offer because there's a lot of great sportsmen out there whose chosen game they can't play for their for their entire life. Yeah. So we've got to look for those guys that are really competitive, introduce them to the game. You don't need to you don't need to sell the game, it sells itself. Yeah. But we've got, is a perfect example. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Exactly right. Absolutely. But we've got to be better at individually, if we want our game to grow, we've got to take personal responsibility to bring someone and introduce them to the game. If everybody Support somebody yeah, every year, person. we would we would grow this game because the game there is there is nothing wrong with the game. It, it will grow itself. Just expose people to it. Okay. Uh, and what does the growth do outside of bowls? Obviously, we're so focused on your bowling prowess. Uh, what does the growth uh, do outside of bowls? What? Uh, well, the growth the growth loves to spend time with Mrs. Groat. <laughs> uh, so yeah, married the last couple of years to Naz. Um, we like to do a little bit of travelling. Yep. Uh, Probably more travelling for bowls than than as might like, but, but she's great. She enjoys the game. She she has fun. She, she uh, play herself or no no she's uh, but she can tell people how to play. Uh, she's her uh, she's very honest in the game. Her, her favourite thing is that people from uh, Hamo know. She she says when, when when a bowls like this far away, why do people say good bowl mate? And I say well, I, I says yeah, it's, it's to encourage people. She exactly says right. nah, she says good bowl mate good. No, not really, not really. <laughs> well, it's good, so, mate. Yeah, yeah I'd love to So that's, that's caught on a bit. But no, we, we enjoy hanging around the bowls. We enjoy other yeah. sports. We enjoy travelling around. Nice. Um, and just, yeah, just social. And the last question, which is always the same for everyone, who do you play in the final, mate? Who, obviously, this is, a, we don't, probably one of the only Reggies we get on. So no, mm. but, like, you guys. Yeah, the Reggies can always. Pick both grades. So who do you play in your final and who plays the Premier Grade final? Yeah, okay. So, uh, Premier, grade, Premier Grade Final, I think... Um, <laughs> Premier Grade Final, I think... Um, pretty pretty hard to go past Burley, I think, are probably up there for, for that. And uh, yep. hopefully our boys can uh, can join them in that. And if I had to pick an opponent for us to play, uh, I think... <laughs> I think uh, possibly Helensvale. Okay. So Hamilton v Burley, Hamilton v Helensvale, both finals. What a great, what a great uh, pairing up on top of the hill. <laughs> and uh, I can yell out to you while you're watching how much we love you, the Greens, and and how's my how's my greatest how's my greatest new place to play bowls. <laughs> Hopefully Dave's on the live stream. Oh, what a terrible shot! Oh, why do you play that for? <laughs> That doesn't happen, mate. Come on. We've had a couple of comments All here. Right. Uh, Mark Burdett, have you had any European wild cards? Uh, I'm assuming he's talking about Premier League and Europe. No, no European wild cards here. Uh, club Holdfast is high come and lifting, and Bakes has had a couple of nights. So, not only Club Holdfast, a couple of sausages, a couple of steak and eggs. A couple of <laughs> I. Missed that one over my pink hat, mate. Um, <laughs> Moving on. Julie Gregg Stewart says, uh, need some grog gear in the Northern Rivers. Um, that would be the Red Man. Jado says, down uh, in uh, South Lismore. Yeah. Oh, there was also a hello from uh, Denzel Owens. Hey, Denzel. Hey, Craig. Oh, yeah. good on you. Yeah, he was, a, he was a gun player back in the day. We played uh, we played zones together. He was in uh, in Park Beach and when yeah. I was in Port Macquarie. Uh, 15 years of age. Uh, skipping, skipping his own rink, and I was playing second for him. Uh, great little player. Yeah, he's a. We played for the NT Northern Territory. Would have been maybe four or five years ago, but he used to play at the St John's Park. Good mates with Matty yep. Peterson. So anyone that's on Facebook, you'll probably see Denzel tagging Matty Peterson in most posts. <laughs> yes, yes, I got a little fan. Tags him and everything. <laughs> The problem is he said, hey, Craig, so you want to tell Craig when you get home that he said, get out Yeah, I'll let him know. Yeah, yeah, I'll pass the message on. And um, uh, Jado says, sticks of bowls, lads. I think he was referring to me and Tongi playing golf. That was back. That was a comment from earlier. 
we were talking about the game that me and you played, well, me and yeah. Tongi played against we you and Jada before he went away. We smashed it, uh, yeah. <laughs> Trumpy, Alex Murta, he's on the scene. Uh, he's been back on the media post this week. I've seen Trumpy. Good to he's, have you. Uh, he must, must be on uh, day shift. Yeah. He's at home at the moment. He but... said, did you give yourself a haircut, Bakes? Well, what's wrong with it? <laughs> You might, might have been talking to your bobblehead, mate. Um, oh, yeah. I had, a, I had a really, really bad round today, and I hit an 87 still, so not too bad. Which is about, still would have lost a Trumpy by about seven, I reckon. Yeah, well, um, minimum. All right. Uh, breaks my balls. Quick one this week, because um, no bobblehead for the doge. I've got favouritism from Robbie Allen over there for Bakes, so uh, st- stitching me up on the point system, stitching me up on the... Uh, on the bobblehead, um, <laughs> breaks my balls. It's it's actually because uh, and he's and he's cracking the whip on me about my breaks my balls. So I can't say anything too derogative about other mm, entities. Yeah, organisations, uh, uh, yeah, killing me, mouth, killing me. Um, you know we're the most popular show that you have here, Robbie. You know that, right? You have everything, state <laughs> titles, everything. We're the most popular now. Um, <laughs> With hats like this, for how so uh, we'll keep yeah. it. We'll keep it. I I did have a photo, but. Uh, it was it was of Bakes and his foot fault on the weekend oh. and, and why Hamilton got beaten um, constantly. We did go yeah. to the umpire a couple of times, but yeah. it would, it, every time we went over, he'd make sure they had his foot. On him. But foot I did. I took a photo. I was going to put it up on the screen, so. but um, it, it literally he was like a meter from the jack when he let the ball go. Oh my I tried God. to get why it's not up on the screen because Robbie, Robbie couldn't on, get a Robbie, wide shot enough where he could see up. where the mat was. Yeah, couldn't see where the mat was. Photoshop's so. a wonderful thing. You go and, uh, and jumped on Photoshop anyway, and edited it. Yes. So <laughs> Bakes is um, meter from the jack. He's my breaks my balls, but also um, my other breaks my balls is um, bloody Drayton. Get your shit sorted with your balls link, and uh, so I can put the scores <laughs> up every week. Um, you're not like the new club into the Premier League anymore, boys. You've uh, you've had it. You've been in there for two years now, and uh, we are pretty yeah, sure we had Bowls Link last year. Yeah, that's probably why they got glass up there actually to try and sort their <laughs> Bowls Link out for them. Uh, so sort your shit out. That breaks my balls. I'm trying to get the shit done every week. Bakes is like cracking the whip on me, ringing me, saying, "Mate, no, what's going really. on, Bowls Link?" No, it's, Emma's into me. It's a lot Bakes better than what it was two or three years ago. Jenna's old, into me. Old school oh, result yeah. system. Everyone so, does it themselves sort now, your shit. But you just would have thought that. You'd have your login details and all that it organised before the season started, but anyway, anyway, breaks my balls. Yeah. Bakes a, delivering yeah. the bowler meter from the jack. Yeah, um, you're a bit of a whinger. And, so. uh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah, uh, a new segment. A new segment. This yeah, uh, starts to tonight. This. Looking forward to this. Uh, it is, and because he's on the show, it's the grossest moments in bowls. And uh, this week, mate, you. Uh, Took a trip up to um, the Vikings. Up to the Bramble Bay Vikings, yeah, Ooh, the, the yeah. old the old home of the Bramble Bay Vikings, and uh, met up with Jason Curry there, and we made a little video. Enjoy. Had a couple of seasons. Welcome everybody to Premier League's greatest moments, and we're at Bramble Bay Bowling Club today, where they had a Premier League team in the years 2014 and 2015. And I'm joined by Jason Curry. Lawn Bowls to you, major sponsor of the Premier League, and at the time the driving force behind the Bramble Bay Vikings. How are you, buddy? Good, thanks. Uh, great. That's good, mate. And you'd have had a lot of fond memories of uh, the people that you brought into the club and gave a bit of a start to. Um, tell us about some of the marquee guys you had here. Uh, first one would be Aaron Tees, who we brought up from down, down Sydney, Wollongong, yeah. uh, followed by Harley McDonald. Um, everyone knows those boys around the traps. Absolutely. Yep. Had a bit of a Lismore contingent in here. Yes, Benny McCall, Jamie Eacorn, um, and Indy Conlon, uh, who was uh, all his tweet heads now these days. Yeah, everybody knows Indy. So uh, there's a guy who got his start in the Premier League through Bramble Bay. Another one out of South Lismore, uh, Glenn Pitts. Glenn Pitts, yeah. Everybody knows Glenn yeah. now. He's, uh, he's kicked on to big things since he uh, had the Bramble Bay experience, eh? That's it. All Jess. All Jess All Star. Exactly, yeah. And uh, some of the Brisbane guys that people would know of? Yes, uh, Brad Piper would be one. Yeah. Jamie Smith. Jamie Smith, yeah, yeah. down the ACT nowadays. Yes, he is going really well. And, um, geez, now you've got me on the spot. Okay, well, let me help you out there. Uh, what about uh, 
Michael Brown. Michael Brown. Oh God. Yep. Right. Now there's still, one. Still going on. Still, still going, going on. Yep. Yeah. He was. He was a pretty quiet bloke. So though. You know. You would never have any troubles with him in the in the side. <laughs> not at all, bro. Not at all. A uh, fond memory would be yourself and him getting into a scuffle on the bus. Do you recall that? Oh, vaguely, mate. Vaguely. vaguely Remind us. Uh, yeah, you'd had uh, had a few beers on a trip uh, up to Toowoomba. Sounds likely. To play the uh, then the Toowoomba Tigers. I believe they're Drake now. Um, but yeah, we're halfway on the bus and the scuffle broke out. And um, I do believe one of you had each other in a headlock. Well, the story was he grabbed me in the headlock, mate. He yes. had me. And he's a pretty strong brewster. I was thinking, do I hit him? Don't I hit him? I'm thinking this couldn't be good for me if I do. So I kind of talked my way out of it. You know, I don't talk very, real well, but I kind of put a few words together. We sat down, all was good. Bus ride home. That's Everybody, no, no harm done. Definitely an experience. Yeah, exactly. And uh, look, some of the local guys that uh, were here, um, Terry Bullingham, oh, Dave Buxton, yeah, yes. Dave Bullingham, Patchy, uh, yeah. Luke Day. Luke uh, Day, yes, yes, yes big Luke Day bit. today. Yeah. yeah, Andy, Andy Dunnigan, Andy Dunnigan he was a good man. Billy Marsh, Billy Marsh, yeah. Stevie Novak, Stevie Novak. What a great guy! Wow, yeah. yeah. Russell Morris. So yeah, yeah some really good, some really good memories here. And uh, I think the, I think the greatest moment memory for me was we're in our first game, we were in our new sponsored gear, and there we were out there. And we had some heckler on the side. You remember him? Yes, we do. And yes. what was he yelling out? Uh, he was yelling out, the Vinkings. Go the Vinkings. Go the Vinkings. Go the Vinkings. We're going, mate, we're the Vikings. He said, oh, you're the Vikings, are you? He said, have a look at your shorts. And there we are. We were the Vinkings. Thanks to BLK Sports, they uh, printed us up a nice uh, pair, of, pair of strides, the Vinkings. For the rest of the season, we were known as the Bramble Bay Vinkings. Well, mate, thanks for being with me. Pleasure, Greg. Thanks Pleasure. for the memories. Yes. And... Uh, We'll be back with you next week with another great, great memory. Here you go. Oh, hey, the Vinkings. <laughs> oh, the good old Vinkings over the days. Yeah. So, yeah, so just when that was playing there, the group was saying that they didn't even... Um, they got all those uniforms, everyone chucked them on, they didn't even know that <laughs> they did not were wearing the Vinkings until some, yeah. someone in the crowd pointed it out. Yeah, yeah, he was he was up us. We, we, yeah, anyway. Classic. You saw it on there. Yeah. But yeah, good, uh, a good good team for the Premier League back in the day, old Bramble Bay. I had Teasy and a few top players playing there. Brad Piper, who's still playing in the Premier League. Teasy's still playing in the Premier League. So. Yeah. yeah, well, Teasy, I think, only played one... Or two games. He, he came up to play with Harley. Harley, came yeah. Up too, didn't he? Oh, yeah. yeah Harley, Harley was a regular Harley, player, yeah, and yeah. Uh, I think Teasy was just up having a bit of a holiday, so we we roped him in. I, I think that's the first place he played. But um, there's a few. And looking through the um, the results tonight, all of the uh, ex Bramble Bay players, Desi Can, Glenn Pitts, yeah. uh, they're all on winning rinks. So. There you yeah. go. There you go. Oh, could be, yeah. could be something there. If you, if you go back through it, there. nearly every uh, ex Bramble Bay player had a, was on a winning rink this yeah. last weekend. A couple of comments. Uh, Jado says, uh, "Who's Craig? He just called the Groat Craig. What's going on?" Yeah, faux pas. Jason. <laughs> Jason has a bit of a memory. Don't miss the beat. Yeah. Don't yeah. miss the beat, old Jado. Jado <laughs> says, uh, "Hitting golf balls in the drink should be what breaks your balls, mate." <laughs> To get him in the drink, I had him hit it in the air, mate, yeah. which is more I can say for you, old Mully Grub. He slices, um, slices it past the water. You put, you're, you're putting from like 50 metres out at one stage, old Jado. Can't, uh, can't all stripe them down the middle, Jado. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, that's uh, one of our new segments called The Grotest Moments. Every week we're going to have a Grotest Moment uh, from old Premier good. League clubs. Well. And, uh, well, I think you're going to get... It's a start. You've got a plan to get the lawman on with his uh, museum. Uh, and stuff. That'll be coming up a little bit later, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah we've got him... Got him lined up. Um, yeah, we'll we do might, a little that's spot. A must do. Yep. Anyone out there though? I'm, I'm looking for I'm looking for content. So hit me up. Mm. All right. So um, that's well. We've had a pretty long show tonight. We've had a double header around to talk about. So uh, we'll might, waffle, uh, I'll waffle on a little bit. Well, for that's a while, standard yeah. for you, Bakes, yeah. to waffle and um, and uh, we got more any, out of great than we did. Comments or questions come through, or we can. Yeah. No. I think any more last comments, but uh, it's a good chance to. Um, Oh, Jacinta. My first ever Premier League season was for the Vinkings. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. There there we go. go. I, didn't, I didn't even know that one. Yeah, we Jeez. missed that one yeah, out, didn't we? Bit of Jack's Sorry, Jack. Uh, oh. Lindsay Fuller says, uh, nice segment, Groat. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, hope you're recovering well from your double knee, Rico, mate. Yes. And, uh, 
walking around stick free now. Yeah, came down to the powerhouse last Saturday night to cheer the lads on. So, um, Abra uh, Abraham <laughs> Batava <laughs> says, uh, any changes with Musgrave? Any changes with Musgrave? Yeah. Any changes? Uh, I've been a couple of changes, small changes, yeah. I've heard something. Interesting. I've heard it's something. Oh, watch this space. <laughs> watch this space. <laughs> All right, boys, we're going to wrap it up. And, um, <laughs> Good on you, Dave. We'll, uh, the replay, a replay one. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Oh, my yeah. bad. I, I, yeah. Sorry, I that. forgot a segment, yeah. Robbie. Yeah. Uh, we did. Shot of the week. Bloody. John Blackman over there, he's, he's on to me again. Uh, the shot of the week from the live stream game last weekend. Um, the well, lowest one bowl was Wilson Alexander drew a back touch when he had two. Yeah, but that's not the shot of the week, but that's standard for Wilson. Oh, yeah, isn't yeah it? Standard. true. That's not, I suppose, nothing special. We, for we, him, did, we did have one head that the first eight bowls, there was no bowl further away than about four inches of Jack. The thirds came along and stuffed it up anyway. But. <laughs> This is a shot uh, from the, uh, the skipper of Tweed, uh, who is a world champion at the moment. GK. And, G yeah, GK. Oh, and Here we go. Uh, the guys in, in front of the camera a little bit sort of got in the way, but we got the good result out of it in the end. <laughs> yeah, it was a That's tip. not like you, Robbie, mate. You're normally onto that shit. Oh, Robbie oh, is people in front of the camera. Sounds cranky. promising. Hey? You can't see it, but it was a hell of a <laughs> shot. <laughs> Okay, here it, here, it here it is. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Robbie, Robbie's shot of the week. He's very interested in it. It's working its oh. way in now. Get down, he said. Oh, he got a scrubber, Robbie. He got a wick, that's mate. GK. Oh. And that's why he's the that's best. A, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. He's right there. He's on the next ring too, GK. Look at him. Oh, he's got the old fist pump going. He was, he was pumped for that one. Oh, Nice, nice. He looks wide. Well done, Robbie. Go on. Look Good forward wait. to next week, mate. Wait, Can't wait for the shot of the week. Yeah, where, where are we streaming from this week? Pine, uh, Pine Rivers. Pine Rivers. Pine Rivers. So, yes. There'll be a couple yeah, of yeah. Uh, from there, no doubt. Yeah, that should be One some there, mate. No, no spread of rain either. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Pirates. Uh, who, who's who's uh, Pine got first up? Uh, Pine has got Tweed first up. Oh, Pine's got Tweed first up. And they got Capella Bar second. Oh, are we yeah, um, going to be games? Who we got there? I'll be back in... I reckon uh, the old hundred, hundred gamer for the Queensland, for the mighty Queenslanders. I think Robbie Wilder with the shot of the week next week, mate. I think Ooh, he's going to yeah. play a bomb. Yeah, he's got a good man. chance. He's he's in both streams. Yeah. Looking forward <laughs> to playing, chance. Robbie. Yeah, we, he's ring one. I'm hey. team one. I'm team one as well. So I'm looking forward to catching up and playing him. He's one. Of, he's one of my nicest guys in bowls. So Robbie Wilder. No, what? Yes, I love <laughs> Robbie. I love no, Robbie. He's, not. he's a legend. You've never you never met Robbie Wilder. Yeah, I might have won a state. He's won my first state title with him, mate. You know that? You, yeah, you, well, I, you and Robbie. If you're and, playing with him, he is nine and eight. If you're playing against him, he's a bit rough. <laughs> <laughs> a big Jimmy. Big Jimmy. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, good luck to everyone playing this weekend. Get out to those double headers, and uh, it should be some absolutely cracking atmospheres for those um, for those clubs hosting those double headers. Looking, Go Dolphin. looking forward to getting out here to the Dolphin Cove and um, all the Pelican supporters out there making a ruckus. <laughs> get, get, it's good to see you got the So Brave show on the old charity round shirt yeah, there, mate. Around, the so, so Brave, brave yeah. old Nick and uh, Sunday Mick. And uh, again, thanks to our sponsors, Smith and Co, and of course the Dolphin Cove here at Paradise Point. Musgrave Hill Pelicans and the Muzzy Hill Pelicans. Obviously, long balls too for the Premier League. And uh, thanks, Shannon, mate, for putting on the show. You do a great job. So uh, thanks, Shannon. Of course, Gold Coast Live Stream. Thanks to uh, Robbie, Robbie Allen. And uh, thanks to The Groat for coming on the show, mate. Thank Good you, to Grant. see you. Have your new segment. Real pleasure. Uh, really enjoyed it. Thanks. Always love having you on. Thanks, Bakesy boy. And, uh, it was my pleasure, mate. I really enjoyed reading out some of the results tonight. It was, <laughs> it was a good <laughs> night. <of> the <laughs> uh, have a great weekend, everyone. And uh, say hi to your mum for me. <laughs>